Hello students, welcome to our second lesson under the structure of the atom and the periodic table and the subtopic is a list of the first 20 elements. Here we are going to look at the element, then we have the symbol, number of electrons, number of protons, number of neutrons, atomic number, mass number, and then the convectional way of writing the element. Here we have hydrogen as the first element in the periodic table. When the symbol is capital H, the number of electrons is one, protons one, number of neutrons is zero, therefore atomic number is one since the number of protons is one. It is good also to note that since the number of protons is, uh, is one, then the number of electrons is also one. The mass number is 1 plus 0, which is protons plus neutrons to get 1. Convectionally, you write 1 here as a mass number, and down here we write the atomic number. We continue to helium, which is the second uh, atom in the periodic table. We have two electrons, two protons, two neutrons, and the atomic number here is equal to the same as the pro number of protons so this one is two mass number it is number of protons plus neutrons to get a four convectionally written as four which is the mass number and then we have two as the atomic number we proceed to lithium we have lithium number three element in the periodic table number of proton three number of neutrons four hence the number of uh, the atomic number will be three because we have three protons and the mass number will be three which is the number of protons plus four the number of neutrons together seven hence seven up here as a mass number down here we have the atomic number of the number of protons Beryllium is 4. We follow the same that the num mass number will be 4 plus 4 to get 8, written as 4 as a sub subscript, the atomic number or the number of protons, and 8 as the mass number, which is the sum of protons and neutrons. For boron, which is number 5, capital B, carbon then nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. So all these one will be computed that way. And this is the number of protons you add to the number of neutrons to get the mass number. So the mass number here is usually the superscript, while the atomic number is the subscript. Neon is the 10th sodium 11, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. The number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. The number of protons is the atomic number, and the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons to get the mass number. The mass number here is usually the superscript before the symbol of an element and the subscript is the atomic number which is the same as the number of protons and also the number of electrons it is good to note that relative atomic mass or denoted ram masses of atom are therefore expressed in relation to a chosen element so the atom that is recommended is carbon 12 so 12 here is a mass number and 6 is the atomic number. Isotope, which mass is arbitrarily assigned as 12 atomic mass units, AMU. All other atoms are compared to carbon-12 isotope to give the relative atomic ma number, meaning it is being compared with this isotope. Therefore, it has no units. The relative atomic mass RAM is therefore defined as the mass of an average atom of an element compared to 1 12th of a carbon 12 isotope with mass 
is arbitrary fixed at 12 amu a formula mass of the atom divide by the 112 of carbon 12 accurate relative atomic mass is got from mass spectrometer so this is a gadget that is used to get the accurate mass or accurate relative atomic mass of an element now let us look at isotope isotopes are atoms of the same element meaning they have the same number of protons or the same atomic number and also the number of electrons are also equal to the protons but have different masses due to different number of neutrons so what brings the difference is the number of neutrons because the number of protons and electrons are equal for example chlorine has two isotopes one with a mass of 35 and the other with a mass of 37 but they have the same atomic number 17 so the first isotope is written this way 35 as the mass number 17 is the atomic number then the other isotope is 37 as the mass number and 17 as the atomic number meaning in the two isotope the number of neutrons are different but the number of protons are equal which are 17 the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons hence the number of electrons are also 17 example chlorine occurs at 75 percent abundance 35 isotope and 25 of chlorine isotope calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine rem is 75 this one of 100 to multiply by 35 here which is a superscript because we are looking for relative atomic mass so this is what stands for the mass then plus 25 the abundance of 37 isotope is 25 of 100 times 37 when you multiply the two you add you're going to get this one 2625 plus 925 divided by 100 you'll get the total will be that and then you divide by 100 to get 35.5 therefore the ram of chlorine is 35.5 ram is near the mass of the most abundant in this case the most abundant was 75 percent so 75 was 35 hence it was nearer to that instead of to the 37 examples of isotope we have hydrogen it has three isotope one two three and then the number of electrons number of protons equal the number of atomic number is the same as the number of protons but when you look at the number of neutrons here you'll find that we have zero one and two so this brings now the difference and that is why the mass number four the first one is one the other one is two that is addition of one plus one to get two and the other one is number of protons plus the number of neutrons to get a three chlorine we have 35 and that's seven so the same case applies we have potassium with 39 40 and 41 as the mass number meaning the number of neutrons are different oxygen we have 16 17 and 18 the number of neutrons are different for the three but the rest subatomic particles are equal uranium we have 22 20 and 21 the number of protons and neutrons are the number of protons and electrons are equal hence the atomic number then when you look at the number of neutrons they are different and this is what now brings the difference in their mass number here the assessment for you work it out make sure you remember all the elements and also you try to know how you compute for atomic number mass number neutrons protons 
electrons know the, all the symbols and also the element this is the second part of the assignment work it out you'll find in the notes section and finally we have the third section of the assignment too thank you and we wish you the best